I'm really excited for today's top tip because it's extremely powerful and really simple to use. And that's the ability to add HTML inside of your VT SCADA application. So the way we're, we're gonna do this is to fire up the Idea Studio and we're basically gonna add in a little wrapper where we can put an iframe or something. So we'll go to the tools. Down in the bottom here, you'll see this new web browser tools folder, and this has got some new widgets in it. So first things first, let's create a new page to drop this web browser in. And we'll show a few examples of doing this. So we'll do a pop-up page and we'll call this uh, GIS map and say sure and find this application has both English and French. So I've got a couple extra clicks, but that's okay. So in here, let's drop in our web browser tools and we'll pull this guy down. Nice size. And we'll go to the properties and inside the properties, let's put in our map data. So we'll change this around with a few examples later. So don't worry about it too much for now. So we've got our map. Next up, let's go back to the overview page, back home, and we'll go to page navigation, drop a page button up here, properties, and go this map. And we will see what we want to do that. So we're gonna select our GIS map here. Click OK, OK to that and move out of the idea studio. And now when we click this GIS map, you'll see here, we're loading something out from the internet. So it may take a few seconds to get this um, because it is, a big, uh, it is a big page that I'm loading here. Okay, here we go. The map's coming in. So we can move this off the side and you can see here, I've got this map loaded essentially in an iframe inside my VT SCADA application. So, uh, it's pretty cool to see this and I can click and do the things and interact with this web page the same as I would if I had it up on the internet. So that's pretty cool in itself, but let's make a change to this. Let's bring this down, shrink this out and make an update to the page. So I'm gonna go back into the Idea Studio. We'll get this GIS map, we'll pull this in, change the aspect ratio a little bit here. Uh, pull this down, go back to the properties, and this time let's think of another area where we may use this. And that would be to do like a form or a survey or something like that. So we'll paste in our new URL, click OK, close the Idea Studio, and now when we fire this up, we've got a brand new page to load. So here we go. So we've loaded up basically uh, just a sample, but imagine how neat it would be to put into a survey that you can just simply work through, submit and be done with, right, launch straight from your SCADA application. So that's pretty cool. The third thing that I wanna show you is drawing this onto another page. So we can go back to our page navigation button here and we'll put it in here, drop this thing down and let's try putting in one more piece here. So I'm just gonna copy that out, go to the properties, put in a new URL, and here we go. So now we've replaced the widget that was there, or just kind of overlaid on top of it, I guess, uh, an actual image of what's going on at our Hydra station. So that in itself is, is very cool. So the ability to visualize it. Now, one thing to note is that this camera, although it does support H.264 video, like you'd expect in your web browser, it isn't going to stream from outside of the network. So you have, if you have clients connected, they wouldn't actually be able to view this if it was say inside the OT network. If that is something that you need, then BT SCADA in the tag browser here, you can go new tag and all tag types. And we do have this camera tag and the camera tag will use the RPC service. It will take the video and it will um, stream it out to those clients, which is really cool. Uh, but you should note that at the time that I'm making this uh, tip, that the camera widget supports MJPEG and does not support H.264. So just be aware, but if you do need to funnel everything through, make sure your camera supports MJPEG and you can use this widget. 